Hey there, fellow empaths and seekers of understanding. Have you ever felt like you were on a wavelength all your own, sensing the world in ways others couldn't quite grasp? If so, you might just be what's known as a Sigma empath. But being a Sigma empath isn't just about having heightened sensitivity or intuition, it's about navigating a unique set of challenges, especially in those formative years we call childhood. So if you've ever felt like the odd one out, or found yourself overwhelmed by emotions that weren't even your own, you're in the right place. Today, we're diving deep into the seven childhood struggles that every Sigma empath faces. Let's journey together into the heart of empathy and self-discovery. Greetings, fellow travelers of the empathic spectrum. Welcome back to our channel, where we delve into the intricacies of the human experience. Today, we're embarking on a journey close to the heart of many sensitive souls, the world of Sigma empaths. Now, if you're unfamiliar with the term, let me shine a light on it for you. A Sigma empath is not your average empath. They possess a rare blend of intuition, empathy, and independence. They're the silent observers, the deep thinkers, and the ones who often find themselves swimming against the current of societal norms. But being a Sigma empath isn't all rainbows and sunshine, oh no, it comes with its fair share of challenges, especially during those tender years of childhood. That's why today I'm excited to delve into seven common struggles faced by Sigma empaths during their formative years. From feeling like the odd one out to navigating the turbulent waters of emotional overwhelm, we'll explore it all. So grab a cup of tea, cozy up, and let's unravel the mysteries of childhood through the lens of the Sigma Empath experience. Number one, feeling different from peers. As Sigma Empaths, one of the earliest struggles we often encounter is the overwhelming sense of being different from our peers. From the playground to the classroom, we can't help but notice that we're marching to the beat of our own drum, while others seem to effortlessly blend in. While our classmates may be content with surface-level interactions, we find ourselves yearning for deeper connections and meaningful conversations. This dichotomy can create a sense of isolation that's hard to shake off. Take, for example, the classic scenario of the schoolyard game. While other children may revel in the joy of competition, Sigma empaths may find themselves more interested in observing the dynamics at play or pondering the feelings of those around them. This detachment from the norm can lead to feelings of alienation and loneliness as we struggle to find our place in a world that seems to prioritize conformity over authenticity. The emotional toll of feeling misunderstood during childhood cannot be overstated. It's like being a puzzle piece that doesn't quite fit into the picture, no matter how hard we try to contort ourselves. This constant feeling of otherness can chip away at our self-esteem and leave us questioning our worth. We may wonder why we can't just be like everyone else, why we have to feel everything so deeply, why we can't just switch off our empathy like a light switch. But here's the thing, our uniqueness is not a flaw to be corrected, it's a gift to be celebrated. As Sigma empaths, we possess a depth of understanding and compassion that is sorely needed in this world. So, while it may be challenging to embrace our differences in the tumultuous landscape of childhood, let us remember that our empathy is what sets us apart and makes us truly extraordinary. Number two, sensitivity to environmental stimuli. Another hurdle that Sigma empaths often face during childhood is their heightened sensitivity to environmental stimuli. Picture this a bustling classroom filled with noisy chatter, fluorescent lights buzzing overhead, and the faint scent of cleaning chemicals lingering in the air. While some children may barely register these sensory inputs, Sigma empaths experience them with an intensity that can be downright overwhelming. From a young age, we find ourselves acutely aware of the subtle nuances in our surroundings. Loud noises, bright lights, strong smells, they all hit us like a tidal wave, threatening to engulf us in a sea of sensory overload. For some, this can manifest as anxiety, stress, or even physical discomfort making it difficult to focus or participate in everyday activities. Take, for instance, the dreaded school assembly. While our classmates may be eagerly anticipating the upcoming performance, Sigma empaths may find themselves bracing for an onslaught of sensory stimuli, the blaring speakers, the crowded auditorium, the overpowering scent of cafeteria food wafting from the nearby kitchen. It's enough to send our nervous systems into overdrive, leaving us feeling frazzled and drained. 
So how do we cope with sensory overload during childhood? One strategy is to create a safe haven where we can retreat when the world becomes too much to handle. Whether it's a cozy corner of the classroom or a quiet spot in the schoolyard, having a designated sanctuary can provide much needed relief from the sensory onslaught. Additionally, practicing mindfulness techniques such as deep breathing or visualization can help us ground ourselves in the present moment and soothe our frazzled nerves. But perhaps the most important coping mechanism of all is self-compassion. As Sigma empaths, we must learn to honor our sensitivity as a strength rather than a weakness. By embracing our unique way of experiencing the world, we can navigate the challenges of childhood with grace and resilience, knowing that we possess the inner resources to weather any storm. Number three, difficulty establishing boundaries. One of the most pervasive struggles that Sigma empaths face during childhood is the challenge of setting boundaries. Boundaries are like invisible fences that define where we end and others begin, safeguarding our emotional well-being and preserving our sense of self. However, for Sigma empaths, this concept can be particularly elusive, as our innate empathy often blurs the lines between ourselves and others. Imagine a scenario where a friend asks to borrow your favorite toy without considering your feelings or boundaries. While most children may assertively say no or negotiate a compromise, Sigma empaths may find themselves torn between wanting to please their friend and wanting to protect their own belongings. This internal conflict can leave us feeling overwhelmed and unsure of how to assert ourselves in a way that feels authentic and respectful. So how can Sigma empaths learn to establish healthy boundaries at a young age? One strategy is to practice assertive communication, which involves expressing our needs, desires and limits in a clear and respectful manner. Role-playing scenarios with trusted adults or peers can help us develop the confidence and skills needed to assert ourselves effectively in real-life situations. Additionally, learning to recognize and honor our own feelings is essential for boundary setting. By tuning into our internal compass and trusting our instincts, we can discern when a boundary has been crossed and take appropriate action to protect ourselves. And finally, surrounding ourselves with supportive individuals who respect and value our boundaries can provide the encouragement and validation we need to assert ourselves confidently in all areas of life. Number four, absorbing others' emotions. Another significant challenge that Sigma empaths encounter during childhood is the tendency to absorb the emotions of those around them like a sponge. Unlike most children who may observe their peers' emotions from a distance, Sigma empaths have an uncanny ability to feel what others are feeling on a profound level. Whether it's the joy of a friend's success or the sadness of a classmate's disappointment, we experience these emotions as if they were our own. Imagine being in a classroom where tensions are running high due to a disagreement between classmates. While other children may remain unaffected, Sigma empaths may find themselves swept up in the emotional turbulence, unable to shake off the lingering sense of unease. This constant barrage of external emotions can be overwhelming and confusing for a child, leaving them feeling like they're drowning in a sea of other people's feelings. So, how can Sigma empaths learn to manage their empathic abilities during childhood? One strategy is to practice emotional self-care, which involves setting aside time each day to recharge and replenish our emotional reserves. This could involve engaging in activities that bring us joy and relaxation, such as spending time in nature, practicing mindfulness, or pursuing creative outlets like art or music. Additionally, learning to establish energetic boundaries can help us shield ourselves from absorbing the emotions of others indiscriminately. Visualization techniques, such as imagining ourselves surrounded by a protective bubble of light, can create a buffer between us and the outside world, allowing us to maintain our emotional equilibrium even in the midst of chaos. But perhaps the most important lesson for Sigma empaths during childhood is learning that it's okay to prioritize our own well-being. While empathy is a beautiful gift, it's not our responsibility to carry the weight of the world on our shoulders. By learning to honor our own emotions and set healthy boundaries, we can navigate the complexities of childhood with grace and resilience, knowing that our sensitivity is not a weakness, but a source of strength. Number five, feeling responsible for others' feelings. 
One of the most profound struggles that Sigma empaths encounter during childhood is the tendency to feel responsible for the emotions of those around them. From a young age, we have an innate desire to alleviate the pain and suffering of others, even if it means sacrificing our own well-being in the process. This sense of responsibility can weigh heavily on our shoulders, leaving us feeling burdened by the emotions of those around us. Imagine a scenario where a family member is upset due to a disagreement with a friend. While most children may offer a listening ear or a comforting hug, Sigma empaths may feel an overwhelming urge to fix the situation, to make everything right again. This drive to rescue others from their pain can stem from a deep-seated belief that our worth is tied to our ability to help and support those around us. But carrying the weight of others' emotions as a child can be an incredibly heavy burden to bear. It can lead to feelings of guilt, anxiety, and self-doubt as we grapple with the impossible task of trying to control the feelings of others. We may find ourselves constantly second-guessing our actions, worrying that we haven't done enough to ease the suffering of those we care about. So, how can Sigma empaths release this sense of responsibility and foster emotional independence during childhood? One strategy is to practice self-compassion, which involves treating ourselves with the same kindness and understanding that we would offer to a friend in need. By acknowledging our own limitations and recognizing that we can't always fix the problems of others, we can free ourselves from the burden of unrealistic expectations. Additionally, learning to set healthy boundaries with others is essential for fostering emotional independence. This means being able to assertively communicate our own needs and desires, even if it means disappointing or upsetting those around us. By prioritizing our own well-being and honoring our own emotions, we can cultivate a sense of inner strength and resilience that allows us to navigate the complexities of childhood with grace and confidence. Number 6. Creative expression as a coping mechanism. For Sigma empaths, creative expression isn't just a hobby, it's a lifeline, a way to navigate the turbulent waters of childhood and channel our innermost thoughts and emotions into something tangible. Whether it's through art, music, writing, or imaginative play, creative outlets offer us a sanctuary where we can escape the pressures of everyday life and connect with our inner selves on a deeper level. Imagine a young Sigma empath struggling to make sense of their swirling emotions after a long day at school. Instead of bottling up their feelings or letting them fester, they retreat to their bedroom and lose themselves in the strokes of a paintbrush or the melody of a guitar. Through the act of creation, they find solace and catharsis, transforming their inner turmoil into something beautiful and transformative. But creative expression isn't just about making pretty pictures or catchy tunes, it's about tapping into the essence of who we are and expressing it authentically. For Sigma empaths, this often means delving into the depths of our emotions and exploring the nuances of our inner world through our chosen medium. Whether it's painting a vivid landscape that mirrors our inner landscape or writing poetry that captures the complexity of our feelings, creative expression allows us to externalize what we cannot always articulate with words alone. Parents, caregivers, and educators play a crucial role in nurturing and supporting their child's creative pursuits. Instead of dismissing art or music as mere hobbies or extracurricular activities, they can encourage their child to explore their creative interests and express themselves freely. This could involve providing access to art supplies, musical instruments, or other resources that foster creativity and self-expression. It could also involve creating a supportive environment where their child feels safe to explore their creative talents without fear of judgment or criticism. By embracing and celebrating their child's creative endeavors, parents can help them cultivate a lifelong love of self-expression and self-discovery. And who knows? The next masterpiece or chart-topping hit could be just a paintbrush or a guitar string away. So, let's encourage our young Sigma empaths to unleash their creative potential and embark on a journey of artistic exploration and self-discovery. After all, the world is waiting to be transformed by their unique vision and voice. Number 7. Navigating Social Relationships for Sigma empaths, navigating social relationships during childhood can feel like traversing a labyrinth with no map. While most children may effortlessly bond with their peers over shared interests or activities, Sigma empaths often find themselves grappling with the complexities of social dynamics and struggling to find their tribe in a sea of unfamiliar faces. 
One of the key challenges Sigma empaths face in forming and maintaining friendships is the difficulty of finding like-minded individuals who understand and accept them for who they are. Unlike extroverted children who thrive in social settings, Sigma empaths may feel like outsiders looking in, yearning for deeper connections and meaningful interactions that transcend superficiality. Imagine a young Sigma empath attempting to navigate the intricacies of the schoolyard hierarchy, only to find themselves at odds with the unspoken rules and expectations of their peers. While other children may prioritize popularity or conformity, Sigma empaths crave authenticity and connection, making it challenging to find their place in a world that often values fitting in over standing out. But despite the struggles faced in childhood, there is hope for Sigma empaths to foster healthy social connections and cultivate meaningful friendships. One strategy is to seek out like-minded individuals who share similar values, interests, and outlooks on life. This could involve joining clubs, groups, or communities where they can meet others who appreciate their unique perspective and embrace their authenticity. Additionally, practicing empathy and active listening can help Sigma empaths forge deeper connections with others and cultivate a sense of mutual understanding and respect. By truly listening to the thoughts, feelings and experiences of their peers, Sigma empaths can create a safe and supportive space where everyone feels seen, heard and valued. And finally, it's important for Sigma empaths to prioritize self-care and set boundaries in their social interactions. This means knowing when to say no to activities or events that don't align with their values or energy levels and prioritizing their own well-being in all areas of life. By embracing these strategies and staying true to themselves, Sigma empaths can navigate the complexities of social relationships with confidence and grace, knowing that they are worthy of love, acceptance and connection, just as they are. As we come to the end of our exploration into the childhood struggles faced by Sigma empaths, it's essential to reflect on the journey we've embarked upon together. Throughout this video, we've delved deep into the intricacies of what it means to be a Sigma empath during those formative years, uncovering seven common challenges that many of us can relate to on a personal level. From feeling different from our peers to navigating the complexities of social relationships, each struggle serves as a poignant reminder of the unique path that Sigma empaths walk in this world. But amidst the trials and tribulations, there is also hope the hope that comes from knowing that our struggles are not in vain, but rather opportunities for growth and resilience. So, to all the Sigma empaths out there who resonate with the struggles discussed in this video, I want to offer you words of encouragement and support. You are not alone in your journey, and your experiences are valid and worthy of acknowledgement. Remember that every challenge you've faced has shaped you into the remarkable individual you are today, imbuing you with strength, compassion, and wisdom beyond your years. As we reflect on the trials of childhood, let us also celebrate the triumphs, the moments of connection, creativity, and self-discovery that have illuminated our path along the way. And let us carry these lessons with us as we continue to navigate the complexities of adulthood, knowing that our empathy is not a burden to be borne, but a gift to be shared with the world. But our journey doesn't end here. I invite you, dear viewers, to join the conversation and share your own experiences, insights and tips in the comments section below. Together, we can create a supportive community where Sigma empaths can come together to uplift and empower one another on our journey of self-discovery and growth. Thank you for joining me on this journey. And until next time, remember to embrace your sensitivity, honor your uniqueness, and shine brightly as the extraordinary Sigma empaths that you are. This is Motivation Today. Thanks for watching and stay blessed.